first zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Model Psych OTC. Use this to record for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Huff me. Curl me. Huff me. Just tease me. It's not a Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk about instrumentation amplifiers and how they differ from regular op amps and how we can make one on our own. So let's talk about first, you know, different types of sensors. We have, we have sensors that can measure, you know, for instance, light, sound, Temperature, uh, light, sound, temperature, weight, voltage, current, yeah, and the list goes on and on. And all of these sensors, in one way or another, output a small voltage. And sometimes we need to amplify that voltage. And that's where we can use an instrumentation amplifier. It'll give us um, a differential output, and one of the benefits of it is it has very high input impedance. In addition to high input impedance, let's let's write these things down. An instrumentation amplifier, also known as an INO, has high input impedance. It also has either high gain or adjustable gain. Remember, if you can't make it precise, make it adjustable. And it has good common mode rejection. Now, one of the most common instrumentation amplifiers on the market is probably the INA114. So let's take a look at the first page of the data sheet. So this is the INA114. It is a precision instrumentation amplifier. And if you take a look at it, basically what you see here are one, two, three op amps. These first two op amps operate mainly as a buffer See, we have, we'll call this N1, N2, and then we have our out, or I'm sorry, our out here. Now, these are incredibly sensitive op amps that can give a reading on just, you know, a couple of nanovolts. They can be used as bridge amplifiers, thermocoupled, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, you can see here, they have a low bias current, low drift, low offset, high common mode rejection, and these ones also have an over voltage protection. But there's a downside to that as well. And that downside is the cost. Here we're looking at a Mouser's page. I just printed it out for ease. And you can see one of these is going to cost you $11.57. You're not really going to get a good price break, say like a 50% price break, until you order over a thousand of them. So, uh oh, that didn't work out so good, did it? <laughs> so, that's kind of an expensive op amp for you to have for your home usage, right? So, now if you remember what we saw on that first page, it's basically three op amps. So if we were to get ourselves, say, a quad op amp, like the uh, LM324N, look at that price, 49 cents. And we can build our own instrumentation amplifier. So if we look at this internal circuit diagram, you can see that it takes two voltages, VN minus and VN plus, and gives you an output V out, which is basically the difference between the two. So we can actually calculate that 
using a formula saying V out is equal to the gain times V2 minus V1. And the gain can be set using an external resistor. You can see here gain equals 1 plus 50 ohm over RG. So where is RG here? Right here. Here is our gain resistor. Now, we can take that and we can build this using our quad op amp, quite simply. So here is our instrumentation amplifier circuit. We have three op amps. We have a gain resistor here, R1 of 22K. I know that might be kind of hard to read there. Let's see if we can't zoom in a little bit. And then we have all of these input gain resistors here of 10K. And we can take our V out here. So if we were to put this together and give it a couple values, say... 3.3 volts and 2.8 volts we can then use that formula that we talked about before to calculate what the outputs gonna be so we can figure out our V out is equal to V2 minus V1 times 1 plus 2R RG and that would give us what? 3.3 minus 2.8 times 1 plus 2 times 10 divided by 22 or what? 0.5 times 1.9 or 0.95 volts. So let's build this circuit and try it and find out. Now, because nothing is perfect in electronics, you know, you can expect a variation here. It might not be exactly 0.95 volts, but it's going to be close and it is going to be within that range. All right, so I've already drawn the schematic up, and we're going to use three of the discrete op amps within the LM324N package. And if you take a look here, you can see we're using number one, number two, and number three, but number four, we have not connects on all of them so we're not bothering with them then we have our in plus or in minus this is our feedback resistor and then we're just going to take our output over here it's all pretty simple let me show you the uh, board that I put together for this So here's the board. I mean, there's really nothing special going on here at all. We have our IC. We have our input resistors. We have our feedback resistor. And then we just have some jumpers there for output. Let's uh, take a look at a 3D view. So there you can see it in 3D. Except my board's going to be green, I think. You see the ground plane on the back. Nothing special. But it should work just fine. So I'm going to send these off and uh, get them built. So here we are over at the PCB Way site. Yes, PCB Way is a major sponsor of my channel, but if they didn't make good stuff, trust me, I wouldn't use them. 
We're going to use a quick order. It works nice because all you need to do here is add your Gerber file. And just have to remember what I called it inamp. There we go. We get a picture of it. There's our size. It's automatically populated. You can select how many you want. We're going to go with green and white. We'll accept the uh, Hassel to Enig. And you come over here and you can see that our cost for the boards is $5. Shipping's $18. $22 total. And we'll have them in less than a week. You just can't beat that. All right, so we got our boards back and we got some new stuff from PCVUA. As this is their sixth anniversary, they sent a new sticker. So we can cover up the old five way PCB way with the new PCB way sticker. Six years. Congratulations, PCB way. So here are the boards, and you can see, as always, they do outstanding work. All right, let's put her together. Get all the goods we need. All right, so we got our board ready here, and I put a wire on the ground because we have a lot of things we need to connect to the ground plane. So the first thing I'm doing is verifying my input voltage for the op amp and uh, trying to get it right dead nuts at 5 volts or as close to it as I can. You can see where it uh, right there at 5 volts and that I'm going to take you out of the phone holder. I apologize. So that is uh, power supply number one. Then we have power supply number two down here at 2.8 volts. And power supply number three here at 3.3 volts. You're going back in the holder now. Sorry about that. So, this is our main power for the device. Hook up our ground lead first. You can see there, we're clamped on the ground. And that is our 5 volts. And she goes uh, right there. Next, we have our 3.3 volt. Let's measure that and make sure we're good. going on there. Oh, I've turned the output on, Paul. 3.31, okay. Good to go there. So again, we'll start by clipping our ground lead on. And we'll clip that guy on there. Next, we have our 2.8 volt so let's make sure that's reading 2.8 2.839 yeah it's close enough for government work right again we'll clip our clip our ground on And we'll clip that guy right there. And then all we have to do is clip on our meter. And we're good to go. All right. 
Let me get this out of here so that you can see better. Turn the light on. Turn the light on, I said. Okay, it doesn't want to turn the light on. That's nice. Anyway, you can see that there. And what do we get? Point. What do we get is we need to change the batteries on this. Reading point eight something. Uh, let me change the batteries. Okay. Let's try this again. Bring the meter here so you can see it. And we'll get our reading off the reading point. No, that's all because it was reading. There we go. 0.88. So we're getting 0.88. Our estimate estimation was 0.95. Of course, you know you have to take into account the actual values of all of these components we're using. So. Watch here, 10K, you should all be 10K, 9 9.7, 9.8, 9.8, 9.7, 10.2, and this one should be 22K. 22 that one's right on so you have to add up all of those things but we've got a good working instrumentation amplifier here that costs you know 49 cents for the uh, IC you know a few pennies for the resistors you get a hundred 10k resistors for two dollars and the boards you know are a bucket piece so let's say you got two dollars into this total. That's a lot better than eleven forty nine for something that you might use a couple times and never need again. So I, I did get another question. Somebody says, "Well, what do you do with all these little boards that you make?" Well, these boards are excellent little building blocks into different circuits. Like here's one for my audio amp. Here's one for a sine wave generator. You, know, you keep all these little boards around and you don't have to end up building this stuff on a breadboard when you need a project you've already got well i've got an i've got a uh, instrumentation amplifier i got myself an audio amp you know all those little boards are just like legos that you can put together and have everything you want ready to go so you know take it however you like Anyway, I would like to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video and, of course, Cyber City Circuits. Make sure you check them out. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. We're at 86,300. We're going to hit 100,000 soon. Get your resistor color code posters now because when we hit 100,000, they are gone. That's it. I'm out peace i want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of so again thank you very much for all your support of learn electronics uh, please feel free to check out the patreon page dollar a month is all i ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive we also have an amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here and there's a link to it down below